Let's take you to Yumo State, where a non governmental organization has equipped some students with the knowledge of mental health and uh, career choice. The move is to enable them make informed decisions on uh, career choices and also pay uh, careful attention to their mental health. Prince Uba has details. Nigeria is grappling with a staggering mental health crisis as millions of its citizens suffer from various mental disorders. According to the World Health Organization, a whopping 20% of Nigerians estimates around 40 million people are affected by mental illness. Does it have a market value? Worried by this trend, especially now that the nation is having food crisis, the Rotary Club in Oweri embarked on a campaign to secondary schools for mental health and career choice talk that will help the students make an informed decisions in life. Around your environment, what can I do differently that will create a positive impact for my generation and for myself? Don't take hard drugs. They are not good for you. A secondary school child cannot, or student cannot just go and buy beer and all that have been drinking. I mean, there is a problem somewhere. That's what it means. Let me tell you, it doesn't show that you're a big boy. Hello. It doesn't show that you're a big girl. It only shows that you have some kind of mental disorder. For the students, the event is timely as it will prepare them to care for fellow students going through mental disorder as well as make decisions that will help them in their chosen career in life. The positive mental health is the well-being of the mind, while the negative mental health is, is the bad mental health or the, the mental disorder. We can also help the people of having mental disorder by praying for them, by calming their, their anxiety. Some of Nigeria's most prevalent mental illnesses include depression and anxiety disorders. The impact of these illnesses extends beyond the individual with healthcare workers, teachers and even bankers also affected.